Hey, Ming Tsai here. Welcome to an instant with Chef Ming Tsai, me. Today, we're going to cook an awesome chicken dish using the Instant Pot Duo Crisp Air Fryer Combo. We're going to pressure cook the chicken. There's kimchi in the chicken, so awesome deep flavors. And then we're going to crisp it up once we change the top out. It's been on for five minutes on the saute function. Organic chicken thighs, salt and pepper, a little grapeseed oil. I don't need much. I run it around because I want to make sure this chicken doesn't stick. And you have to hear that. That's the saute function. If you don't hear that, you didn't get it hot enough. And don't stuff it too much. I have eight thighs here. I can get about five. And you're going to see a lot of this chicken fat render out. We're going to keep it in there because guess what? Fat is flavor. Let's do some veg prep. So we have carrots, celery, bell peppers, cabbage, sweet potatoes, kimchi, and the air of max to start are garlic, ginger, scallions, and a little bit of tamari. Most of this veg is going to melt in the braise, which I love. This is mirepoix, right? Carrots, celery, and then onion. By the way, don't touch this. Once it starts to caramelize, the skin gets crispy, it will unstick itself. You'll be able to get a spatula under it much more easily. This is the best way I know how to do bell pepper. Take your bell pepper, put your knife flat on the board, and roll your bell pepper. That is how you clean a bell pepper. All right? Then cut that in half. We'll do large dice, as it's called. Cabbage. I love cabbage. Half a head is plenty. I want about one inch pieces, so I can just go like this. Sweet potato, again, all about the same size. That's what we're looking for. If you're gonna eat potatoes and you wanna eat more healthy, eat sweet potatoes, because sweet potatoes have carotene. Let's see how this chicken's doing here. Oh yeah, look at that. See how they don't stick, guys? And you might be thinking, wait, now you're gonna braise this and pressure cook it? Yes, so everything's gonna get soft. But then we're gonna air fry it and re-crisp it. It's very cool. Now we can saute all our aromatics. So we have scallion whites, sliced garlic, and minced ginger. These are the strongest aromatics, so I like to saute these for just a minute. And you want the garlic to get a little toasted, a little sweated out, it releases the garlic oil. Salt and pepper every time I add more stuff. Here is kimchi. This is what gives this chicken an awesome flavor. This is spicy, it has a little bit of broth too. We're gonna go ahead and add this whole board all in. Season again. Just a little bit of salt because I know that we're gonna be adding some tamari, which is gluten-free soy sauce, right? So now, tamari goes in, chicken stock. You can use water, it'd be fine, but it's gonna taste better with chicken stock since we're cooking a chicken dish, right? Give it a good stir, mix it all up, get all those aromatics in. There's a little bit of what's called the fond. The fond is the chicken that kind of stuck to the bottom. So I'm actually using the spoon to kind of scrape that off and the liquid will get it off too. Chicken, back in, lay them on top. All right, so now, lay the lid down. I'm gonna cancel, I'm gonna go to pressure cook. We're gonna go high pressure cook and we're gonna go 20 minutes. All right, after 20 minutes guys, release the steam, right? I have beautiful fresh water crust. One of my favorite vegetables, one of the healthiest vegetables in the world. We're gonna take a little bit of zest. Make sure you wash your citrus. So simple, zest on top. Look at the spiciness that exudes from the kimchi. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. So these are the scallion greens. We put scallion whites in here to cook, right? I'm just gonna put scallion greens all over this. And then you see the skin of that chicken that's exposed over the broth. We're gonna change the top out. It's so easy, guys. I hit air fry, 405 minutes is the right time. I hit start immediately. You can hear it. It's just gonna give it a nice crispness, which is awesome. All right, let's finish up the plate up. A little lemon juice. It's a quick vinaigrette, guys, right? It's lemon, olive oil, salt, pepper. That's a vinaigrette, right? We're just gonna do it in a nice serving dish. And the last thing we're gonna add to this, house rice. It is 50% brown rice, 50% white rice. Well, I cooked it in a pressure cooker, only 10 minutes. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, a little bit less water, but the trick is I soak brown rice by itself for just one hour. Brown rice takes more water to cook, right? So you soak it for one hour, then you mix it with the white rice. You wash the rice like you normally do. Then, normally, I would put it in a rice cooker. But you want it to go faster, use a pressure cooker. It's awesome, and look how awesome and fluffy it is, right? And house rice, microwave is actually not a bad thing, just to bring it back to temp. This is done, let's check it out. That is a good looking piece of chicken. And again, I pressure cook this, guys, because this is an awesome pressure cooker. Then I switch the top out, and I put on the air fryer 
lid. See how that skin is so crispy? And I have so much veg underneath here. Look at this awesome veg. You can just lay that all around. This is a true definition of a one pot meal. Let me remind you, this is all done in one pot, guys. This little machine right here. Time to eat. My favorite thing to do. Look how this just shreds, see that? That's why I love pressure cooking. Oh. You're gonna wanna make this dish, guys. Have at it, and as always, peace and good eating.